Here's a quick recap of the Tuesday, September 3rd City Council meeting. The preliminary tax levy for 2025 has been set. On Tuesday night, the City Council approved a maximum levy for next year of $38.3 million, which is a 7.85% increase over this year's levy. Two new full-time positions are being proposed, a facility engineer and a water utility worker. The proposed budget includes funding to replace the final half of the lighting at the Coon Rapids Soccer Complex, along with $400,000 for park and trail improvements. You can find more on the proposed budget by going to coonrapidsmn.gov slash budget. A public hearing will be held in December before the final budget is approved. Some changes are being proposed to city code related to waste collection and recycling services. This week, the city council introduced an ordinance that would eventually limit the number of residential garbage haulers in the future to three companies. Currently, there are five active haulers that would be able to continue service if they keep meeting licensing requirements. Also, a hauler could lose their license if they receive five or more formal complaints within a 12-month period. A procedure for administrative fines is also being added. The changes are being made to better protect residents in response to complaints about their service. An organization that helps the homeless continues to grow in Coon Rapids. On Tuesday night, Family Promise of Anoka County received site plan approval for a new eight-unit apartment building. Last year, Family Promise opened a family services center off Coon Rapids Boulevard near Highway 610. They also purchased a nearby home where one family can stay at a time. The new eight unit apartment building will be constructed next to the home. Families stay up to 90 days while they work and find permanent housing. And that's a quick recap of the September 3rd City Council meeting. As always, you can find the full meetings on cable or the CTN Coon Rapids YouTube channel.